Mingala Bakamya. I'm Angus Watson with the top stories for DVB. Burma opened the Yangon Stock Exchange today with the first six listed companies announced. A ceremony was held for the opening of the bourse at the renovated former home of the Bank of India in Rangoon. Trading on the YSX will at first be a wholly local affair, with sanctions against the controlling stakeholder preventing international transactions. The first six public companies to trade shares are First Myanmar Investment Company, First Private Bank, Myanmar Citizens Bank and Myanmar Tilawa SEZ Holdings Public, as well as Myanmar Agribusiness Public Corporation and Golden Land Public Company. Just a day after America temporarily lifted sanctions at Burmese ports, the United States is eyeing further engagement with Burma, this time with Naypyidaw's long-shunned defence force. The US Army's commander in Asia, General Vincent Brooks, said on Tuesday that he was eager for closer ties to the military in Burma. The United States has been working to boost military ties throughout Asia in an effort to counter an increasingly powerful and assertive China, which shares a border with Burma. General Brooks said he hoped the National League for Democracy's election victory will pave the way for greater cooperation with the now-sanctioned Burmese military. Four education activists jailed in central Burma since March have been transferred to hospital in Rangoon. Thayawadi Court approved the decision on Tuesday, the 29th court appearance for the activists. They were among 127 arrested when police violently broke up an education reform protest in Lepidan Pagu Division in March. Over 70 were charged with a series of offences, including rioting and causing public alarm. The four hospitalised on Tuesday joined nine fellow education activists who have been evacuated from Tharawadi Prison to hospital after developing health complications over their nine months in jail. The detainees hospitalised on Tuesday were Min Thuay Thit, Ma Noor, Mia Ji and Tain Lin Ong. You can find more on all of today's top stories at dvb.no. Bye for now.